Hello everyone, here is a question from stereochemistry. We need to find out the number of chiral centers and the number of stereoisomers in cholesterol. When we say something as a chiral center, if it is attached to four different groups, if a carbon atom or a hetero atom is attached to four different groups, then we can say that it is a chiral center. In this case, we do not have chiral centers that are heteroatoms, we only have chiral centers that are carbon atoms. So, we need to see whether each carbon is attached to four different groups or not. The best way to do is eliminate the ones that are not. What we can eliminate? We can eliminate methyl groups, the sp3 carbons, if it is a methyl group. We can also eliminate CH2, once again sp3 carbons, if it is a methylene group. So, methyl group we can eliminate, methylene group also we can eliminate. So, why we are eliminating? Because even if it is connected to one other group, it becomes two different groups in total, not four different groups. Here, likewise, we have two hydrogens. So, if it is connected to two different things, then in total it becomes three different groups, not four different groups. So, therefore, the CH3 and CH2 we can definitely eliminate. So, let us eliminate those first. So, we have a CH3 here, we can eliminate this CH3, eliminate that CH3 and then CH3 here, CH3 here. This carbon also we can eliminate because it is connected to two methyl groups, therefore this also we can eliminate. Let us eliminate the CH2 carbons as well. 1, 2, these two are CH2's. So, CH2 here, CH2 and then CH2, 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 CH2. So, wherever we find CH2 carbons, we have eliminated those. We can also eliminate sp2 carbons that are like if you see a carbon carbon double bond or carbonyl group, you can definitely eliminate those. You can also eliminate sp carbons. Here we do not have it, but if you see a triple bond, then you can eliminate those carbons as well. So, here we do have a carbon carbon double bond here. So, this means that we can eliminate these two as well. Now, let us round those that are remaining. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, these could be the chiral carbons and let us verify it one by one. So, we have a alcohol functional group here, we have a hidden hydrogen, we have CH2 here, CH2 here. You might think that they are same, how come this could be chiral, but going on this side is different from going on this side because this is CH2, CH2, but when it comes on this side, it is CH2 and then we have a carbon that is connected to a double bond with another carbon. Therefore, going on this side is different from going on this side. Therefore, this carbon atom is indeed chiral. And then here we have a quaternary carbon. A carbon atom that is attached to four different carbons is called quaternary carbon. So, we have a quaternary carbon here, methyl group on one side CH2 and then CH and then carbon connected to another carbon with a double bond. So, therefore, this is also chiral. How about here? We have a hidden hydrogen CH2 on this side connected to a quaternary carbon on this side and then here it is CH. Therefore, four different groups and here once again we have a hidden hydrogen that is one 
CH2 and then CH here, CH here. But this CH is different from this CH because this CH is connected to a CH2 that is part of the six membered ring whereas this CH2 is part of the five membered ring. So there is asymmetry indeed. That means this is chiral. Here once again hidden hydrogen CH2 CH quaternary carbon. Therefore we have four different groups. Here methyl group CH2 CH and then CH here but this CH is once again different from this CH because this CH is connected to something a chain an alkyl chain but the other one is this one is not so therefore this is indeed chiral so we are talking about this one right now so this is indeed chiral how about here hidden hydrogen CH2 quaternary carbon and then CH here therefore this is also chiral we once again have a hidden hydrogen methyl group and then CH2 and then CH here so we do have four different groups so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the number of chiral centers in this case is 8 and the number of stereoisomeries 2 to the power n where n is the number of stereo centers in this case chiral centers. So 2 to the power 8, 2 to the power 4 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32 and then 32 times 2 is 64 that is 2 to the power 6 and then 2 to the power 7 will be 6, 128 and then 128 times 2 so that will be 256 so we will have 256 stereoisomers in cholesterol